Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So my video today is a DIY video, hence why we are in my kitchen. Now I brought you guys into my kitchen a few months ago. I did my little DIY bath salt video and I really wanted to do a DIY video in time for spring and summer. It is getting warmer out um, and I love, love, love a good salt spray for my hair in the warmer months. Um, you know, when it's just like so hot and kind of humid, if you iron your hair, if you curl your hair, it's just gonna like bleh, go crazy anyway. So I really love to use a salt spray. So I do have some like other beach sprays, but they're just expensive. Um, you know, I just bought this one, this Healthy Sexy Hair um, with Argan Oil, Soy Renewal um, Beach Spray. This is fine, I got this at the hair show. I only paid seven bucks for it. I think retail it's about 20. So, I mean, I bought it because I had a really good deal on it, but would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, there is a John Freda one I used to love, but still, it's like 10, 12 bucks. I have this other one by Orbe, this is their <sighs> Apre Beach wave and shine spray and this is like 40. Um, and I feel like I never use this because when I use a beach spray, a salt spray, I just wanna be really liberal with it. I don't wanna be like, oh my God, I'm spending like, you know, $10 worth of salt spray on my hair. So those two, I mean, the sexy hair one I just got, but the Orbe one I've had for a while, it's nice, but I just don't use it that much because it's so expensive and I just kind of don't wanna use it because I want it to last. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own salt spray today for the beach for like 50 cents or a dollar. The materials are so cheap. The most expensive thing you'll probably end up buying is the bottle. So as far as containers, so I showed you guys this one, um, I think in my March favorites. I got this glass bottle from Whole Foods and this was like two or three dollars. So yes, this in my case, this was definitely the most expensive. And then I also have a couple bottles I got from Daiso and these were each like a dollar. So basically you're just gonna need one of these little spray bottles or a couple spray bottles. Um, how big are you? This is 100 ml. I would say if you get 100 ml, um, probably get two of these because the amount I'm making will probably fill up about two of these guys. Okay, so as far as ingredients go, you're gonna need water. I would recommend distilled just because you don't want any sort of weird bacteria getting in and growing in this. So I really like using distilled water for any of my body products. Um, so yeah, you need water, you're gonna need sea salt, you can use whatever kind of sea salt. I mean, this, you can get a big honking container of this at like Whole Foods. That is super, super cheap. You can get it at Target, whatever. Um, this was the sea salt I used for my bath salt video. You can use that. Um, I just use this because I prefer to keep that one, the other one, for my actual bath salt. So you're gonna need sea salt. You're gonna need a type of oil. Now, I use coconut oil, um, just like non-refined coconut oil from Trader Joe's. The thing with coconut oil, when you make this, if where you live it's kind of cold, the coconut oil will solidify in the bottle. So this is like, it's not an issue. You can always warm it back up. You can just, you know, kind of take your bottle and like rub it in your hands and get it warm again. Um, but it can be kind of annoying if you're trying to use this product when it's a little bit colder because the coconut oil will be solid. So if you didn't want to use coconut oil, you use you could use any other type of oil. Um, I'm not really sure about olive oil. Maybe like jojoba oil could be nice, vitamin E oil. Um, really whatever you want, sweet almond oil, that could be nice. But I really like using coconut oil because to me like a salt beachy spray should sort of have that tropical coconut feeling to it. So I really like that. Um, you could also use some aloe vera gel. I will be putting aloe into mine. Um, I like using a little bit of aloe vera gel just because it has a little bit of hold. Um, you could also just use any sort of like hair product as well, like a pomade or a gel. This is a really good pomade I got in Korea. Oh, I love the way this stuff smells. We can't even see it. But this is kind of like a light hold pomade. Basically, you do wanna put something that's gonna give like hold. Any sort of, like any product you have that will give like texture or hold, you could use like a gel, you could use a pomade, not really a wax. I don't really know if that would like melt overly well. Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna give, put in something that has some type of hold to it. Another product I haven't used, but this is like amazing. This would work great as well. This is by Osis. This is their mess up um, texture, matte gum. This stuff smells super good too. Oh my God, I have to throw this away. It's all gross and crusty. I like never use this. Um, 
yeah, that's totally dead. That's going to my empties video. Um, but yeah, basically that is it. Those are the ingredients. Um, and I also do put in some of this Moroccan oil treatment. This is not just straight up argan oil. Argan oil would be great in this. I don't have plain old argan oil, but I have this and it smells great. So in it goes. Okay, so let's make some salt spray. It's so, so easy. This will take you like five minutes. Basically, what you do, so I take a Pyrex. I really like these little Pyrex pitchers because um, it's really nice when the product is done to just be able to pour it into your containers without using like a funnel or something. So in my Pyrex, I have one cup of distilled water. You can see, you might be able to see a little steam coming off of this. I just microwave this for like, you know, 45 seconds a minute, um, just to get it warm because I want it warm to dissolve the coconut oil. So I've got my water. Then I'm going to take my sea salt and I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of sea salt, okay? Woo, super, super easy. Okay, so I've got my tablespoon of sea salt. In goes my salt, okay? Next, we are going to add some coconut oil. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of coconut oil. Oh sweet, my coconut oil is like already kind of melted and liquidy. It's been super hot here in California the last couple days, so all my, all my coconut oil is just liquefied. So yeah, two tablespoons of coconut oil, or no, not tablespoons, teaspoons. Two teaspoons of coconut oil go in. And then I'm taking my aloe vera gel. This is just from Trader Joe's. I don't, this isn't like pure aloe vera. It's like aloe vera gel that you would buy, you know, for like after like sunning or something. If you could get like normal, just like full on pure aloe vera, that would be fab. So I'm taking one teaspoon of this. Do, do, do. Dumping that in. And then finally, I'm taking my little Moroccan oil argan treatment. And I'm just gonna put like, a teaspoon of this stuff in. Get this off. I never actually use this stuff. It smells super nice. I never use this like just by itself. Actually, I think I'm gonna start with like half a teaspoon, not quite a full. Yeah, it's kind of like half a teaspoon because um, this stuff seems like it'll be kind of potent. So yeah, that's it. Everything is in and I'm just using my dirty little teaspoon measure. And I'm just gonna stir it until everything is sort of dissolved, until the coconut oil is melted, and until the salt seems to be dissolved. Okay, so as I'm stirring this, I think it's from the Moroccan oil treatment. I think this is because it's not actually pure argan oil. I think because it's a treatment, it has other stuff in it. I did get a couple like nasty little chunky things out. So I am just gonna scoop that out because I don't need that like going in the bottle and clogging everything up. Okay, so there you go, that is it. Basically, I just take this and I'm gonna go over my sink and pour it into the bottles. Okay, so I filled up these two bottles. This one, I don't know how many mil millis it is. This is four ounces and this is 3.4 ounces. So I do actually have a teeny, teeny bit left in the container and this I can actually just use, um, I can just dip my fingers into it and just kind of scrunch it in my hair, no problem. So how do I use this? Basically, you know, when I get out of the shower, um, if I'm gonna do this after the shower, I just towel dry my hair and then spritz this stuff on. And then gradually as it dries, I like to add a little bit more to it to just, it just kind of gives it more oomph. Like I feel like this is a product you wanna be liberal with, you wanna keep reapplying it to really get your hair some nice texture. So I like to spritz it all in and then just sort of scrunch, scrunch it up. And it just gives you these really nice, like sexy beachy waves. And oh my goodness, if you're actually on the beach doing this, you know, then maybe you're in the ocean, maybe you're getting some actual salt water in your hair and Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. Like if you have a bottle of this in your beach bag and you keep reapplying it, oh my goodness, you will have such sexy, like Victoria's Secret hair all day long on the beach. Okay, so there you go. That is it. That is the basic recipe. A cup of hot water, preferably distilled, 
one tablespoon of sea salt, two teaspoons of coconut oil, a teaspoon of aloe vera gel, and then possibly some other type of oil. You know, I use my little Moroccan oil treatment. I forgot about this actually the last time I made this, and I do remember it now, like I do remember it kind of curdling up a little bit. But you know, if I get some like normal argan oil, oh, that would be so, so lovely. Or even that marula oil stuff I just picked up, that Paul Mitchell marula oil. Oh, I forgot about that. That would be nice in this. So yeah, basically, you know, four ingredients, five, whatever. You can put, you know, other sorts of normal hair products in just to give it that hold. Anyway, hope you guys like this DIY. Super, super, super easy and super, super cheap. This is a product, you know, it's so easy to make. It's so fast to make. You probably already have most of these ingredients floating around. And you know what? Like if you don't have aloe vera gel, just use some type of hair gel. The, al the aloe vera gel is in there more so for hold. It's not because it's like aloe and it has these miraculous properties. It's just more to like, you know, when you scrunch your hair up, it sort of stays. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Again, I'm not doing April favorites. I will do May favorites at the end of this month. Happy May. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's May. Where did April go? It's just bananas. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.